Hey guys and girls, it's Case here. Um, today we're gonna do a lower body mobility session. With the mobility sessions, it's always important that we have a strength factor that complements our flexibility factor. Um, so uh, we're gonna work on the flexibility of our hamstring, of our quads, and in the, and in the end, we're gonna go into a deep squat. Um, so for the first exercise, we're gonna perform a hinge. Uh, we're gonna perform a hinge on one leg. Um, I'm gonna stand on one leg, and now I'm gonna have three points in front of me. Then I'm gonna reach out for with my uh, with my left hand. One point forty-five degrees to my left. One point uh, directly in front of me, and one point uh, forty-five degrees to my uh, to my right. So um, uh, um, in uh, in coloration uh, coloration to my toes. Yeah, so I'm gonna reach 45 degrees to my left. I'm gonna slowly come down, reach all the way with my palm to the ground, keep my knee as straight as possible, and I'm gonna come up without touching my feet to the floor for repetition number one. Now I'm gonna do it again in the middle for repetition number two. I'm gonna come completely up and now I'm gonna do the same on one side for repetition number three. We're gonna do this for 18 repetitions in total, then we're gonna switch legs. So now for my other hand, so I just did one, two, three with my left hand. Now I'm gonna do four, five and six with my right hand. I'm gonna come to the right side. I'm gonna come completely up. I'm gonna go to the middle and completely up. Make sure that your knee is straight or as straight as possible. Come with your hand as close to the floor as possible. We are now at repetition number six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna reach over to my other hand again. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and the last one 18 I'm gonna step over to my other hand and I'm gonna do the exact same thing again so first one two three four five six I'm gonna continue switching hand every after every three repetitions until I reach 18 so one Three, four, keep your knees straight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and again, the last one. 
18. Okay, probably feel a good burn on your hamstrings, on your calves, maybe even in your feet. Um, for the next ex exercise, we're gonna do the sissy squat. And with the sissy squat, we're gonna work on the front side um, of our body. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand on my toes, heel off the ground. I'm gonna try to, uh, to maintain a straight line from my knees until my shoulders. So I'm gonna uh, squeeze my glutes together, keep my hips to the front so I can maintain that straight line. I'm gonna try to come down to the floor like this. And then after that, I come up again. We're gonna do this for 15 repetitions. Um, but if you, um, if you don't have the strength yet to come completely down and then come up, you can always bail out into a squat. So I'm gonna, uh, so I'm gonna, what I'm asking from you guys is to perform the sissy squat downwards and then as soon as you feel like your body is insecure or you're in pain or um, you don't have the strength, um, move towards the squat and from there you will be super safe again. So what does that look like? I'm gonna assume my posi position, I'm gonna lower myself and then let's say on this position I feel uh, I have weak knees or whatever. I'm gonna squat back into this position and then I'm gonna come up again. Yeah, so we're gonna do that for 15 times. Do it at your own level. So you can also do it from here. And then let's say you, uh, you already feel the pain over here. You can come back to your squat and come up. If you are more, uh, if you have more strength in your knees, you can try to come lower. If you have strength all the way, you can come from completely down all the way to up, yes. So you come down and we go up. Or you go down, squat back, from here come up. Make your repetitions guys. Nice. And girls. Okay, um, after 15 repetitions, I don't know how many those have been, make sure you do 15. Um, after the 15 repetitions, we're gonna, um, for mobility, it's always important to have, um, um, to have some kind of biomechanical uh, influence in it. So if you only do your exercise in a straight way, that means that uh, you don't have the diversity of strength in your uh, different joints and ligaments. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is you want to create some kind of uh, uh, creative, uh, creative, creativity or newness in your, in your work, in your training sessions, so that your body becomes stronger overall. So we're going to try and play with these two uh, subjects, the ishi or the sissy squat and the hinge. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come down in a sissy squat like this. Then from the sissy squat, as you sissy squat it downwards, you're gonna place one hand on the ground, one feet from the ground, and you're gonna come up in your hinge. From here, I'm gonna take a new step in a different position than I've been before. And then from this new position, I'm gonna try to sissy squat downwards again. And the sissy squat downwards, my, my knees have been uh, um, strengthened in a different position now. And now I'm gonna try and come up in a different hinge again. So I'm, I, uh, before I use my left leg, now I'm using my right leg. I put my hand on the ground, left leg up, come up in my hinge again I take a new step and from this step I do my sissy squat again and I come up in the hinge 
I came into a new position. I do my sissy squat. From here, I do my hinge. Bring my feet in a new position. I do the sissy squat. And I do my hinge. New position, sissy squat. Hinge. Maybe go a little bit wider. Sissy squat. Hinge. Sissy squat. Hinge. That's the concept, guys. Sissy squat. Hinge. Try to have weird positions as well. Sissy squat. Hinge. Sissy squat. Yeah, um, so I want you guys to do that for like 20 times or something. Um, then from there on, we're gonna go lower into the ground again. We're gonna perform a deep squat um, and do some exercises from here, from there. So this is the deep squat. And uh, notice that as you are here, that you have some space to move. You can't reach into this position, which, which will probably be some of you. Um, you can put a book underneath your ankle, so your ankles come a little bit higher. Because what's most of the time the case is that your ankles don't have the mobility uh, to, to come with your knees uh, be, uh, uh, beyond your toes. And that means that your weight is too much backward. If your weight is too much backward, you're gonna fall backward. So by lifting up your ankle, you cheat a little bit on the mobility in your ankles, but you can still perform the exercise, which is okay. It will increase over time. Okay, so as we are here in the, in the deep squat, uh, from the deep squat, I'm gonna ask you guys to perform a couple of exercises. Uh, if you feel like your knees are hurting you or whatever, go out of, out of the position and then come back with me whenever you're ready, right? Uh, you're gonna put your ankles on the side of your knees, hands together, and push your hands in between your knees, like so. You're gonna perform these exercises a couple of times, like I do. So every time your hands come up and down. I'm gonna do it for this for 10 times. If it feels too easy on you, you can, uh, you can make fists as well, and then do the same exercise from here. You will feel that the, the reach is a little bit increased from here. Yeah? Okay, so after 10 times, um, you're gonna put your hands on the floor, thumbs up, and try to touch your, um, touch with your forehead, hand, touch your thumb. Like so. If this is too easy for you, you can bring in one thumb or even two thumbs to make it more challenging. Your butt can come off the floor as you reach, as you reach down. All these exercises we do 10 times. Okay, very nice. Um, then from here, uh, we're gonna take a little break from the position. We're gonna put our hands backwards so that our knees get a little rest. From here, I'm gonna touch my knee inward and outward to the floor. As I do that, my other knees uh, keeps on pointing towards the sky. So I don't let my knee come in or out. Uh, my right knee keeps pointing up as my left knee try to touch his inside and outside. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Very nice. And after 10 repetitions on each side, we're gonna come back into the squat. And from the squat, we're gonna perform the next exercise. We're gonna put, uh, put two hands 
on one leg and one shoulder on the other leg. And then from here we push out like so. Push your knee out to the side. Keep your ankles on the floor. And push it away. All of this will increase your hip mobility. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side. number 10 then from here we're gonna fly her out to the top um, with my right hand I'm gonna touch my left ankle so uh, I'm gonna cross over my body and then my uh, free hand is gonna uh, come up as high as possible every time I look up I try to fix myself on a point on the ceiling and see if I can come uh, further the next time I come up Every time I try to reach a little bit further. Okay, very nice. We're gonna switch sides. So I'm now gonna catch my other ankle. And I'm gonna come up again. Okay guys, we're gonna do this uh, session one more time. Okay, so we are back with the hinge. Gonna perform it 18 times. After this 
we do the ishi. Um, after that, go down into the deep squat. 